Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we're going to talk about a Japanese TV show that came out in the 60s. We've been shown a lot of it, but we're going to talk a little bit about it now. And the show is The Eighth Man. Now, I only got the first uh, half of the show in my collection. And there's six, there are six discs of this show. And and there's a complete collection on a, that that I had made whenever that was created. And this show came out in Japan in 1963, and it was a great hit. It was a comic, it was a comic book and all that stuff, or whatever you, uh, I, whatever you call it, the Japanese comic book. And then somehow it made it to America. Because somebody, some American person in Japan saw it on the Japanese TV, and they loved it, and they bought rights to it, and it made it to a NBC in 1965, and it ran for two years, 65 to 67. Of course, the American people only got to see 51 of the 51 episodes of the 56 episode that was in Japan. So we're missing, boy, we're, we're missing a good five episodes that we never got to see. So maybe the, so maybe the show ended completely and we never got to see the complete episodes, so the, the complete show. And this show is pretty good. It's pretty dark in some sense because they kill, they kill off a lot of people in this show. And the bad guys are real evil and everything. And I'm not too sure what came first. Uh, the Eighth Man. I think, yeah, because there were the Eighth Man. There were Astro Boy. There were Gigantor. And there was Simba. Well, not Simba, Kimba. Kimba the White Lion. And then you had Speed Racer at the end of the end of the 60s. And there was a whole bunch more. I think there was Mar Maria, a, a Marine boy. That came out in the 60s, 66, I think it was. So you had a lot of Japanese cartoons in the 60s. But I don't know who came first, this this one or Afro Boy. I know Afro Boy came out in 63, but I don't know if it came out in 63 here or there. But this is just as good as all the Japanese concerts. And this was the, I think this was the third black and white concert. Because After Boy was the first black and white concert for Japan that we got. Then Gigantor was the second. So this had to been the third. Kimba was the first color Japanese concert in America. And the first color Japanese concert in Japan. So, and this is kind of like a RoboCop, kind of a RoboCop Six Man Diary Man thing. So this is this is before RoboCop and Six Man Diary Man, because RoboCop came out in the eighties, and Six Man Diary Man came out in the seventies. So this, this predates them a lot, and this is like the. The uh, cyborg, the super, the DC superhero, the the black superhero that's half machine, half half human, and that came out in the eighties on the super on the super friend show. And I know my copy's crappy because when they released it, to uh let's see, this came out, this came out sixty five. My copy came out two thousand and eight. So about 33 years later, they released the, they took all the original uh, soundtrack, kind of, and made it kind of brand new soundtrack. So that's why it sounds kind of homemade. Now, I don't know if the complete theory that they, that I found on the internet is the original soundtrack or this, this thing, but all this put together. One day I will buy it, and I will be the compare it to two, 
And if the one, if the complete collection is better than this, then I'll be real happy. Because I would love to hear how the show Ray was made instead of the new soundtrack they put through it. And you can, fi you can find this on eBay and Amazon. I got my copies off of Amazon years ago. Good. Good. I think good 10 years ago, so it's been a long time. No, yeah, it's been a long time. So this, so this was Eighth Man from the sixties. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.